What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bryden Strider and today we're going to Roblox. We're going to be playing something called Bronze Forever, which looks like a Roblox version of Pokemon. And I'm a big Pokemon fan, so let's dive on in and see how it is. Catch you there. Okay, so I don't know what this game is, but the icon has Mewtwo. And then it has other Pokemon and Ash. Alright. And it's got 93%. Let's let's hope it doesn't let me down because I mean Pokemon, come on. Let's see. Bronze forever. I don't know what that means. Order of verdicts. There's a lot of people working on this game. Pokemon! Oh, uh, it's Hoopa. Brick Bronze. Click to play. Are you ready to start your adventure? Heck yeah! It's the tall grass. There's a Pokeball. An item. What is this? Is this the Pokemon game we've all been waiting for? It's the Poke Center. Dun, 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 dun. Or maybe it's just like a lab or something. It's in my house. It's in my house. That's a big house. I like that house. What? 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. Today is the day of my Pokemon. I can't believe today has finally come. Today I get my first Pokemon from the Pokemon Professor. I have always dreamed of setting out my own on my own adventure with Pokemon by my side. There are so many Pokemon in this world. I hope to discover them all one day. Well, I better get going. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to fill out my trainer card. Type your name. There you go. Bryden Strider. Did I write that correctly? Yes. Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> That's what I would say in the original games. Awesome. I'm that much closer to officially becoming a Pokemon trainer. Some notes. You will only be able to trade and battle with other players after you receive the first gym badge. Your progress is not saved automatically. You must manually save or enable autosave. Pokemon Brick Bronze is still in development. There will be bugs here and there, but we're always working to fix them. If you have any questions, you can post them on the wall of the official group. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and enable autosave. So every two minutes and after completing battles, it is recommended that you still manually save before leaving the game. Yeah, I mean, that's what you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed to save even after autosave. Uh, can I go on the PC? Like, or can I? There's no PC. <gasps> but I'm supposed to have a potion and a PC. Where are my parents? Oh, Evie. Evie, look at the Evie. Oh, Evie. Hey, Bright and Strider, it's me, Jake. Are you my rival? I can't believe we're getting our first Pokemon today. This is the day we've dreamed of since we were kids. I'm on my way to the lab to get mine right now. Oh, yeah, your parents wanted to see you before you went to the lab. I saw them pass my house earlier, headed towards the digging site. Hurry and go talk to them. I'll be waiting for you at the lab. Okay. Here are you. Some wild Pokemon are harder to catch than others. Also, some Pokeballs are more effective on certain Pokemon. Is this the lab? No, this is someone's house. Who are you? I remember when they 
used to say there's only 150 Pokemon. My, how time flies. Supposedly now it's estimated that there are over 700 kinds. Latios and Latias. Oh, what I'd give to be young again, just to be able to explore the vast world of Pokemon. Back in my day, um, I was basically that old guy. Back in my day, there's only 150. 151. Where's the dig site? Okay, that's the lab over there, I'm assuming. Uh, whose house is this? Who are you? Did you know that Pokemon are better at using moves of their own type? It makes sense. Yeah. My husband comes home and tells me th some of the most interesting things about Pokemon. The other day he told me that some Pokemon only evolve if they really like their trainer. It's called Friendship. Was this my house? No, that was my house. Whose house is this? Is this Jake's house? Is it Jake from State Farm? Do me a favor and keep an eye on Jake for me. He's a very spirited young man, but he's not the brightest. Oh, you just call your son Dome. Hey, Brad and Strider. Jake is so excited to be adventuring with you. I remember you two staying up late as kids and talking about the adventures you'd have. There's Pichu, Pikachu, and Raichu. I like that, uh, that fan art. It's very, very different than anything I've ever seen. It's cool. Let's go check out Jake's room. Okay. He's got a... Is that a... Is this a blank picture? All right. Let's go find my parents at the dig site. Is this the dig site? Yeah. Looks like it. Mama! Papa! Well, that ought to take care of it. We have to keep this a secret for everyone's safety. You're right. It's too dangerous for anyone to go down here. I don't think we should tell anybody about this. Maybe we can tell that new professor. Maybe you're right. Oh, Brighton Strider, you startled me. Hey, champ. Today is the day you get your first Pokemon. We are so happy for you, sweetie. Sorry we didn't meet you at home. We just discovered something in the cave last night. As archaeologists, your mother and I are very thorough in our work. That's right. But enough talking. Let's head down to the professor's lab and let you pick out your very first Pokemon. We'll see you there. I wonder who the starters are going to be. Are the starters going to be from Scarlet and Violet? I have not yet played Scarlet and Violet, but I want to really badly. We'll see. Is that the professor or is that Jake? Is that Jake? No, that's the professor. Over there is the Pokemon professor's lab. Maybe he's just an assistant. Years of Pokemon research are stored in that facility. Ooh, Darkrai. I've written over 50 reports on Pokemon. The one I'm working on now is Mega Evolution. Much is still unknown about e Mega Evolution. I've even had a few conversations with Professor Sycamore from the Kalos region cool reference. Whoa, whoa, do I? Hello, my name is Professor Cypress. I am the new professor in Midas Town. I'll bet you're Bryden Strider. Your parents were just telling me about you. You must be very excited to be getting your first Pokemon today. There are a few things you must know about Pokemon first. Pokemon are our friends and we grow alongside them. They grow and in some cases evolve and change form as we battle with them. Your Pokemon will grow to love you as you adventure with them. Oh, that's cool. I never knew that before. Really, Jake? Yes, and there are still many things that we do not know about Pokemon. Brian Strider, I want you now to pick a Pokemon that you would like to accompany you on your adventures. Make a choice from these 27 different breeds. Go ahead now. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so difficult. I love Rowlet. <gasps> Crookie. So I haven't picked from Violet and um, Scarlet officially yet, but I think I'm, when I do finally get to play it, I think I'm going with Quaxley. I know he's probably like the least desired of the three, but... <gasps> 
The OG Pokemon starters? <laughs> How can I pick? Mio Cyndaquil? Oh, so difficult. Hmm. This is this is so difficult. This is like the hardest choice ever because it's not just three, it's all the starters you get to pick from. And I just, I don't know. Well, when in doubt. So would you like Charmander, the fire type Pokemon? Heck yeah. Excellent choice, Brighton Strider. Your new Pokemon is so cute. That Pokemon definitely has potential in battle. I hope our Pokemon becomes best friends like we are. All right, Bryden Strider, many challenges await you. Let me give you one other gift that will help you along your way. It's a Pokedex. It's like an electronic encyclopedia that records the kinds of Pokemon you encounter and capture. It will also help me in my research with Pokemon. Also, if you'd like, you can come back at any time and purchase another Pokemon from my assistant, David Purchase. Now, what are you waiting for? Go and explore the world of Pokemon. Yes, Spartan Strider, go ahead and have fun with your Pokemon. We need to stay behind and talk to the professor for a minute. We'll meet up with you later. So I can ev eventually... Is that Robux? Like actual Robux? That's cool. I've got Robux. I can get all the Pokemon. Are we going to battle? I'm so excited for the adventures that await us. Usually you would battle, maybe. Yeah, you go. Hey, Brian Strider, wait up. Strider? Hey, Brian Strider, wait up. We have Pokemon now. Let's battle. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. He got an Eevee? That's not fair. The ready nose Ember? Finish it off, Charmander! 69 experience. Amazing! Yeah. Nice fighting. Here, let me heal your Pokemon. Oh. Uh -huh. No ding 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 a ding. Brian Strider, that was an excellent battle. Your father and I watched you while we were discussing things with the professor. We're very proud of you and taking this step to become a Pokemon trainer. We want you to know that we will be supporting you as you explore Roria. You need to be very careful as you are going to be out of your own, out on your own for the first time. Don't forget the floss. Brian Strider, we want to give you something to take with you as a gift to celebrate this momentous occasion. A brick. Bronze brick obtained. Brian Strider put the bronze brick in the bag. I made it into a necklace just this morning. When you look at it, remember your family who loves you. Don't forget to keep it safe. We're headed back to the house. If you need anything, that's where you can find us. Q. Wow, that was really cool of your parents. Oh, by the way, I have something for you. They're for catching wild Pokemon. Five Pokeballs. Brian Strider put the Pokeballs in the bag. It works best if you weaken the Pokemon before throwing a Pokeball at it. Well, I need to go... I need to gather a few things before I set off on my adventure. You should go start training your Pokemon on Route 1. Past Route 1 is Cheshma Town. That'll be a good place for us to meet up. Alright, I'll see you later. Route Route. I guess it all depends on preference. Do, 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 
All right. Let's get some battling done, too. Here's this guy. I don't know why, but the water has always scared me. I'm not a very good swimmer. Some people ride on the backs of Pokemon and let them do the swimming. Who are you? Here, let me heal your Pokemon for you. Oh, cool. Thanks. Good luck in your adventures out there. If your Pokemon ever need a quick healing, come talk to me. What are you looking at, kid? Mind your own business. We're just hanging out. All right. Jeez. Jeez, man. Do, do. <gasps> a bunnelby. Or a bunnelby. Oh. Charmander, use Ember. No, not your defense. Use Ember again. Hang in there, Charmander. Go, Pokeball. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Come on. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna do dick games. A wild Pidgey appeared! Go, Charmander! Pidgey was burned! Ooh, Pidgey was hurt by the burn! Burn! Go! Pokeball! <laughs> yeah! No, thank you. Level! Leveled up! Gotta go. Let's go heal. Especially since Pidgey's burned. Take a look at my. Oh no, that's not one. Oh, I love the sprites. Love the sprites. There you go. They're all healed up. A level two Pidgey. This will be easy. Go, Charmander. You scratch. See the animations. Oh, not bad. Critical hit. Use Ember. Good job, Charmander. All right, is this is gonna be a battle. Oh yeah, our eyes met. Bugs are the most interesting Pokemon. Yeah, that's the middle. Come on, Ralph. Bug catcher, Ralph. How many Pokemon does he have? Does he, does he, does it show? Oh, I guess he has two. Yeah. Use Ember, Charmander. Super effective. Yeah, let's switch to Pidgey. Wait, what moves does it have? Does it have a flying move? Oh, just tackle. Let's switch it anyway. We gotta level it up somehow. Go, Pidgey! Pidgey, use tackle! Hang in there, Pidgey. You got this. Not string shot. Good job, Pidgey. Okay, so maybe my bugs aren't the best Pokemon for battling. 
Anything in the dog grass? There you go. Hmm. This may not actually be good matchup. So if he's got a uh, rock type move, it may not end up so well for Charmander. Granted, he is level seven. Oh, he got burned. Charmander, end it with Scratch. Good job. You ready, Charmander? We're at it again. I met my Pokemon on this route. Root. Camper Jack. Zigzagoon. Use Ember. So close. Finish it off with Scratch, Charmander. Good job. Maybe I should catch more Pokemon. Probably. I just love Pokemon. They're so cute. Is she gonna have an Eevee? Suvi! See, let's use Ember and then switch out. Switch out to Pidgey. There you go, Pidgey. Good job. Sand attack. Hmm. No, let's stick with Pidgey. Pidgey versus Pidgey. Tackle's really all I can use. Sand attack won't affect Pidgey because Pidgey's flying, so. But tackle should be enough. Good job, Pidgey. I need to train my Pokemon more. It takes time, Susie. It takes time. What do we got here? Potion! Alright, I'm getting tired of these guys. Brighton Strider! Hey, I got here as fast as I could. Something terrible has happened. I need you to come back to town with me. I don't have time to explain. Let's go. What? What has got here? Bright and Strider. I'm so glad to see you're safe. I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you this, Bright and Strider. But your parents have been abducted from their home in the short time you have been gone. Not much is known yet, but it's suspected that they were taken by a group of people known as Team Eclipse. You see, Team Eclipse is an organization of people who have a unique perspective on people and Pokemon. They believe that people and Pokemon are not at harmony with one another, and they have interesting ideas for how to solve this problem. They are also dangerous and not to be trifled with. They seem to do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. I do not know what they want with your parents, but I suspect it has something to do with their skills as archaeologists. Your parents are familiar with the Pokemon of legend on Roria. Whatever Team Eclipse is after, I'm sure they are getting very close to achieving it. Now tell me, Bright and Strider, 
Did your parents say anything about their work when you saw them this morning? Oh, so your parents gave you that necklace earlier. That's interesting. Anyways, it's not safe for you here now. Brian Strutter, I think for the time being, it is best for you to leave town. At least until we figure out what's happening here. Cheshma Town is a good place to start. It's just past Route 1. Be careful now, Brian Strider, and don't go looking for trouble. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm stuck. That's not good. No. I hope I didn't lose any progress. All right, so it does look like I lost some progress, unfortunately, but it'll be easy, just a couple of battles, um, and then go through that cutscene again. Hopefully, I won't get disconnected next time, but it's it's pretty well made so far. I, I thought it's really cool. The sprites are awesome. The, the storyline's going to get interesting. P kidnapped parents, and the fact that you can technically use robux to buy all the starters that is awesome i may have to do it i've got robux i caved the other day and got some i might have to anywho make sure you press that notification bell so you know when i play again and play some other games as well and if you would just for fun if you like pokemon Put down in the comments what your absolute favorite Pokemon is. My absolute favorite Pokemon is Mew. That's mine. Let me know yours in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next Pokemon adventure, I'll be seeing you.